day 10. We're officially halfway through our Canadian road trip. We're going from Calgary to Vancouver and we're currently in Whistler. It's our final day in Whistler, our final full day in Whistler that is. And we are going to go up the gondola, I think. It's looking, whoa, let's get back a bit. It's looking like blue skies, so we thought it'd be a good morning to do the peak to peak gondola, so that's what we're gonna do. And well, that was a really pointless statement. We're gonna do this, because it's gonna be like this, and that's what we're gonna do, is essentially what I just said. It's just going out for coffee now. Look at this blue sky. Amazing. A little bit different from yesterday, isn't it? Mm. Here we are. Chairlift part one. Look out for the mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> so how long does this ride take? Half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. We'll get a bit sunburnt. Yep. We went to the upper village to get the chairlift. If you go in the main village, you get the gondola, um, which had a massive queue. So if you go to the upper village, I think it's generally less busy. So up to you really. If you want a gondola ride up, then go to the main village. If you want a chairlift up, which is what we're on, go to the upper village. Part two. We are now on our second chairlift. En route. Oh, I can feel the temperature dropping. But it's still sunny. First patch of ice spotted. And we are approaching the end. It's significantly colder up here, I can safely say. It's jumper and coat weather, so uh, bring your t-shirts, your suntan, quick, bring everything. We have just started the Alpine Trail before we take the peak to peak gondola. I thought we might do some walking while we're here. <sighs> Very fresh air up here. Fresh mountain air. I wanna see a marmot. I wanna see a marmot! back in the hotel room and what did you think of the peak to peak yeah it's good fun Thunderbird. it's definitely one that's gonna test your vertigo what's the word one to test your vertigo, yeah, vertigo yeah. full stop because <laughs> most gondolas go straight up whereas the peak to peak one goes across so you go through this valley and it's just a very 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 steep drop and it doesn't help when you're in a carriage and all the people around you are going you don't want the cables to break now and telling you all these facts about what the cables are made of and blah, blah. it's like no i just want to get i just want to get there now <laughs> so yeah that that was sort of my my level of how high i would like to go in a gondola that's in the way Oh, it's gone for the slow motion sway. It's uh, dancing to a romantic ballad. Oh, right. Yay! So we are currently at a place called Portobello in the upper village and we're just having lunch. I've got a mac and cheese or it's got a grilled cheese because we're cheese fiends. And also Lawrence got a London fog, which is like a really 
odd combination. You have to let me know if it's any good. So it's Earl Grey tea with steamed milk and vanilla syrup. I'm not convinced, but I will try. And our survey says, is it just like sweet milk? Yeah. Mm. yeah it's alright. You can taste the uh, grain. We probably just need one with the brain. Brain. It's a brain, mm. mate. I've gone for a latte. I didn't branch out on this occasion. I also got this juice. It looked nice and refreshing. Let's see the ingredients. Filtered water and sugar. Brilliant. My mac and cheese has arrived. Looks pretty epic. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that goodness. So we've returned to the Valley Trail or that sort of area and we're gonna go back to Yowzers. The lighting is going crazy. Hold on. There we go, that's a bit better. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> so we are just walking through back where we were yesterday. Um, where we did the cycling route and we're just meandering back to where Lawrence were in Osprey because that's all he's been talking about all day because apparently he's a twitcher and you didn't nitch I'm not a twitcher <laughs> like I don't care about small birds it's, oh, just, it's pretty awesome it's if it's a bird effect. it's not that size it's about the colour <laughs> um, so no, yeah it's um, very scenic hopefully oh, won't get hit by a pigeon you're scarred for life from that incident I don't think we killed by a pigeon it would have given it, it was well heavy, it would have given me significant How injury. Just walking along the roadside, there's so many really nice houses. I love the Canadian style of houses. They're just so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Lawrence thinks <laughs> Lawrence thinks that saying aesthetically pleasing isn't grammatically correct, but I don't care. They're very aesthetic is what you say. You wouldn't say aesthetically. Look, pleasing. look, it's just so nice to look at. Look at that one! Look at that one! Smelling the roses! Look at these houses! Watching for a train! Watching for a train! No, Green, Lake, Green Lake and we've spotted the Osprey so now we're just trying to get a good view of it to get some footage. I already recorded some of it flying around but it was a bit far away to get a proper look so just gonna find another viewpoint. So pretty here! Just heading back now after our walk to Green Lake from the upper village I definitely recommend this walk if you're romantically inclined. Maybe if you're en route to proposing to someone, it's probably a good spot to do it by that lake. It's really nice in the nice warm summer evening, so definitely check that out. It's the Valley Trail from the Upper Village to Green Lake. And I just thought I'd show you what I got from this cool little shop called Caught as a Moose. To be honest, anything with a moose in the title and I'm like, hell yeah! So, um, we got sort of matching t-shirts, which is a bit sad, but there we go. So this one is my one, which is like a purple t-shirt and it just says, Caught as a Moose, Whistler Canada. And then Lawrence got a, well, exactly the same, because they had to sail on two for twenty five dollars and that one says the same thing but it's in red vlogging um, fail but we just had olives and bread and it was amazing the olives are probably the best I've had the fact that it's all yeah but it was absolutely amazing olives if you're an olive fiend definitely come here and try them out mm -hmm. sorry I forgot to vlog I will try and remember the mains Hot diggity. Did you enjoy it? What's hot diggity? What? Wow, what did that? Why? I'm tired of I've got a walk in today. <laughs>
we have. We have arrived in Tofino. We're staying at the Pacific Sands Resort. I don't know if I told you that. We're staying in hut 253. It's pretty rainy, so I don't know what we're gonna do today. But it's quarter to six now, so we're gonna get some foodage for sure. And I'll give you a room tour, of course. Oh my god! What the hell was that? 